Okay, we're going to show you how to install the membrane keypad repair kit in the KXTGA450B telephone. Um, this telephone has a worn out keypad and you can see the talk button is kind of hard to push. Some of the other buttons have to push kind of hard. But mostly the talk and off button and these buttons up here. Anyway, to start, you just take the battery cover off, remove the battery. There are two screws down here. You need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. And a cleaning rag, some rubbing alcohol, and 91% is the best. If you only have 70%, that's okay. Do not use 50%. That's 50% water. Um, so to take the phone apart, you got these two screws down here. And just take those off. I like to put everything in the uh, battery lid door just to keep it together. Now to get the back of the phone off, I pull back here where you took the screws out. It should come off fairly easy. And I like to wedge my thumb in. And sometimes you can just rock it back and forth like this and it'll start to come off. There's a snap here and here and again the same place on the other side. There's also a speaker with a wire, so you can't just pull it apart or you'll break that speaker. Um, this one's a little stiff, so I'm pulling and it's not coming apart. I'm just going to put a flathead screwdriver right there just a little bit. You don't have to put any pressure, it's just you're putting the pressure back here and it'll just unsnap. And Now I'm doing it again, I'm kind of wedging it up and then just kind of go in there and just really gently like that. You don't want to be shoving the screwdriver in there because you'll scrape across the circuit board. So once that's done, these two, you can just rock it back and forth. There's another clip up here, just kind of rock it and, while pushing very gently up. And you'll see that speaker wire right there. It's taped down. I, I usually just grab it here and pull it off like that so you have more room. So now we have the headset jack cover, a little rubber thing that goes right there. Now we got two more screws here and one up here. These are shorter and you want to make sure they go back. I'll show you the difference. If you put these longer screws in down there, it'll poke right out through the, through the other end. It makes your phone look kind of gross after that. So just keep that in mind. And this screw is the same exact as the two on the back of the housing. So there's three large screws, two small ones. So we've got the head jack, headset jack cover off, three screws. Now you can just pick this up and kind of fold it back like that. And then I spin it around. You got your rubber keypad. If this is really gooey, you can take it out and rinse it with soap and water, hot water under the sink, or you can clean it with rubbing alcohol. Um, and sometimes it's really nasty in here. You might want to use rubbing alcohol um, with a Q-tip to clean out these buttonholes. Uh, but that's pretty much cosmetic, or you just get the gross out of there. Um, sometimes there's a these are sticky from maybe a soda spill or something. Um, you, you can take that out. These break off kind of easy, but you can still put them back in even if they do. You could soak them with rubbing alcohol if you need to. Um, I also use an old toothbrush a lot. And you can gently kind of clean off anything like that. Keypad. So I'll put that back in. The next thing, now that we got the keypad exposed, we got to pull this little silver button cap off. It just pops right off. And these are always a little bit dirty. You want to make sure you clean it. I use a rag, get some rubbing alcohol on there. These usually aren't horrible like some other models. Uh, the 400B, I'd have to like soak a lot. You don't want to get rubbing alcohol on the microphone. It'll break the microphone. But just a damp cloth and it does great. So after you get the, all that cleaned off, you have your membrane repair kit. It has a brown sticker uh, layer covering the adhesive. So you 
kind of cut a pick away at a corner somewhere. And you take it off. If you go too fast, you might rip it right there. And then what you do to make it easier is just kind of go around the edge like that. Come at a different angle if you rip it. And there we go. It's all off in one piece. Makes it easier. If, if you have little pieces ripped off, you can get it off. I also frequently will use tweezers to help with that. But Now to put this on, all you do is you kind of there's a rounded area here for the microphone. Kind of just hook it on there. It can, it can kind of go under it. You don't want to go under it. You just want to kind of line it up. And then this shape here will go right over this button. And once you're there, that's it. You just kind of lightly go around the edge. You don't need to push down on, on anything to stick it down. Just lightly tack it on. It won't go anywhere once the phone's back together. Now this is the step I always forget, is to put this back on. A lot of times I'll put the phone back together and forget to put that button back on. It just pushes right on there. And one thing I want to mention, kind of late, but uh, you might want to look for corrosion around those pins and uh, maybe clean them off with a toothbrush and rubbing alcohol. And I see that occasionally. But that goes on there. So, let me put rubber keypad back in if you've taken it out. Uh, you might want to look to see if there's dust. Um, a lot of times there's big pieces of dust on the display. You can kind of just brush it off. Or if you're lucky enough to have an air duster, you can dust it off like that. And then we just flip this back over. you got a couple screws here from the speaker. That one just got hooked on right there. You don't want that to happen, so... It's supposed to go right in this slot. It's just general area there is fine. And pins in. The buttons are all rubber buttons aren't stuck underneath or anything like that. I didn't put this in upside down. And I got that silver button. I remember this time. Okay, so then the first thing I usually do is pop the antenna back in. Remember it's a long screw. Okay, put that in. And then we look for these two charging post pins. This can get a little bit confusing, but just remember this goes in a little hole. There's little holes right there and there. And there's pins sticking out the bottom there and there. So um, if it doesn't fit in this way, obviously it doesn't, then you go over this way. And like that. Now I take the two short screws. You want to make sure these go in, you know, not overly tight, but pretty tight. If they don't get a good connection, it might not charge your battery. Get it all back together. So you just don't want them loose. Put it in tight. You don't want this wiggling around. And headset jack cover goes right like that. It'll fall out easy. So just be careful. Now this, I mean, I never take this back on. I just kind of make sure it's not sticking out the side. You know, when you put it together, just kind of lay it down in there. It'll pretty much go back where it was usually. You kind of look. I don't see the red wire sticking out. So then just push that kind of up on the top. That's that snap first. And make sure that these, um, the, the LCD display white plastic housing, sometimes that'll get shoved underneath like that. So you just want to make sure... That is not the case and should snap together re relatively easily. If there's any resistance, you probably either got that speaker wire caught up in something or that white part of the LCD housing. And then that's it. You put these screws back in. Now these phones have notorious trouble with the battery contacts. And there's not a lot you can do about that if you're running into that. Um, I install spring contacts. Um, these flat plates aren't that great. Um, and any kind of dirt, you don't even see the dirt. It's just like a coating. Um, can mess it up. Uh, these batteries, due to differences in manufacturing, could be just a tiny bit skinnier and loose. Um, 
So a couple tips for you. You could try cleaning these off with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. Um, you could try wedging a piece of cardboard, a small piece of cardboard, back behind here just to put a little bit more pressure on that battery. Um, as I said, I install uh, spring contacts in all these and it, it really cures the problem. That'll cause the phone to die faster. It'll cause it to just quit on you, reset, uh, especially when you're using the phone and you shake it, just hitting it a little bit. But, okay, so the keypad's in there, and, you know, the buttons work great now. And that'll block um, any of the oil from getting on there anymore, so it's, it's sandwiched in there and nothing can get in there to mess up your buttons ever again. I'm going to just go and test all the buttons. This won't fix any, like, serious issues if you have, like, a row of buttons that don't work. Like, say, the 369 pound don't work at all. It's probably because there's a serious problem with the phone. It's not the buttons. Usually, it's these buttons are hard to push, and that's when you fix the keypad. If it's the zero button does not work ever... Uh, sorry about that. Um, there might be something seriously wrong with your phone, and you could send it in for repair. And that's it.